today I'm going to do a hair curling tutorial for you guys. I'm really excited about this one because this is the hair look I, I do every single day or every night or whenever I blow dry my hair. This is my go-to hair look that I always do. I always get compliments on it. People are always fun telling me my hair smells good, it looks great, it looks volumized. How do you get your hair to stay curly like that every time I see it was curly and all that stuff. And I'm not going to go and toot my own horn but I'm obsessed with this look and since a lot of people seem to like it I thought I'd do it for you guys and I know that there are a million hair curling tutorials on YouTube I know that but everyone kind of does something a little bit different and so do I and so I thought I'd share my secrets or methods <laughs> and steps with you guys um this is going to be the look right here that I'm wearing right now this is the look that I'm going to show you how I achieved and if this looks like something that you want to do, um, then please keep on watching, and I'll see you in a bit. So hi guys, um, I just finished blow drying my hair, and I used heat protectant, and I did my regular hair care routine, and if you want to see that, please comment below, but let's get started. So I am going to start by sectioning off my hair, you don't have to do this step, I just find it to be a bit easier to manage your hair, and kind of just deal with each piece instead of having to comb through a bunch of pieces. And you can use any clip to do this. I'm just going to use one of these things. I don't really know what it's called. I might use two because it's not going to hold very well. And then I'm going to use my curling iron. This is a two inch barrel. It is by the brand Fahrenheit. Um, I got this for $25 at TJ Maxx. It's really great TJ Maxx to get stuff like this because online I think it's like 100 bucks. Um, I really like this one. This little white bar right there that you can see, it's usually pink, and when it's hot, it's white, and then when it's cool, when you know you can put it back wherever you put your hair stuff, um, it turns pink again, so that's great. I would recommend for this look to be using um, a curling iron or a curling wand, it doesn't matter, you can use a clamp or not, um, between one and a half inches to two and a half inches, anything bigger or smaller than that is not going to achieve the same look, just so you know. So if you don't have one of those, then that's not going to be so good. <laughs> um, but so now, I did the sectioning, and then um, you don't want each piece that you curl, you don't want it to be too thick or too thin. So let me show you the first piece I'm going to take. It is this size. It's not like a huge giant piece like this, and it's not like really, really thin where you're going to get the expirally curl. And each piece that you curl, you're going to want to go in the opposite direction. So I'm starting here and rolling back. And I'm just holding for about 10-15 seconds because my hair curls very easily. If your hair does not curl as easily, don't like pump up all the hairspray and products you, because that's just going to weigh down the curls. What you're going to want to do is just hold the hair curler on each piece for longer. So I only hold that for about 10 seconds. If your hair is really hard to curl or doesn't hold a curl very well, just hold it for closer to 30 seconds. Don't add product. It's not going to work. I'm telling you that right now. And for this look, you're not going to use really strong hairspray or anything because that'll give your hair this crunchy look that you don't want. Now, because I curled that last piece backwards, I'm going to curl this one toward my face. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm leaving about two inches right here. You can see this. I'm leaving about two inches at the bottom of every piece, not touching the curling iron because that's how you're going to get this look. If you don't do that, then this isn't the look you're going to get. Um, if you have really short hair, you might want to leave closer to an inch, but I'm leaving the two inches because my hair is really, really long. Um, this is a hairstyle I do pretty much every day. I think I said that already before, but anyways. Um, you're going to want to leave that in the bottom to give it a more natural, PC look, because if you curl that bottom part, you're going to get like those little like curly suit curls, like curl on the bottom, and you're going to look really done. Like You tried really hard to do your hair. This look does not look very difficult to do. And if you see, this probably would take longer for someone with long hair like me, um, or even someone with um, thick hair or something. It'll take a little bit longer. That's okay. And now each piece you want to um, do back and forth, like curling back and forth, because if you don't do that, all the curls are going to get stuck together and look really uniform, and that's not what you want. And now if you see, this piece I left about an inch on the bottom. Also, I'm doing that because I don't want each piece to have the exact same length on the bottom because that will also look sort of uniform. I'll use closer to an inch on one and closer to two inches on other ones. And if you go too far, it's fine. This look does not have to be perfect. You're not like curling each piece exactly, like perfectly. You don't have to count 10 seconds. I mean, I do this every day, so I'm kind of used to how it turns out and what I'm used to doing. So, um, I think that's 
all I wanted to say. Um, so I'm just going to finish doing this around my whole entire head, and then I'll be right back. super duper long hair. Um, now the products that we're going to use are going to be very light. I'm only using two products. They're very, very, very lightweight products. I do not recommend, especially when you're curling your hair, to use heavy products because they tend to just weigh the curls down and pull them straight. And that's why, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get my hair done at like a salon, they put so much crunchy hairspray in that in like two hours, my hair is pretty much flat and all stuck to the top of my head. Okay, so to the products that I'm going to use. My first product is my Style Must Have. This is a product that I will use every day. I'm obsessed with. It is my go-to product. I use this no matter how I style my hair. And if you don't know what this is, go buy it now. It's only $4 at almost every drugstore, Harman's, Target, everything. It is the L'Oreal Paris Studio Line Out of Bed Texturizer. Looks like this. Comes in this jar. And it's like this goo. I don't know if you can see that. It's like goo. It's like, it feels kind of like gel, but it's really light and thin. It's like a lotion, almost. Um, it smells amazing. It says medium hold on the thing you can see there. Um, I don't know if it's focusing, but it says medium hold. Um, it smells so good. Every time I use this, I always get compliments that my hair smells amazing. So what I do is, with my hair freshly curled, um, I just take some like this, about that much, on my hand and then rub it through your hand, your fingers. You can rub it all the way through your hands. You do not want to put big glumps of this in your hair. So like, now you can see my hands are all sticky and gross. And then I just kind of scrunch this in. It gives it some volume, makes it te like messy and PC and makes this look, like these curls look super, super natural. Take it all over. And at first you'll get, have like, you'll feel your hair feeling kind of wet, but it dries really quick. This does not leave any residue in your hair. It makes your hair feel softer than it did before. Um, it also does not leave any residue on your hands, like a lot of gels and stuff. I'll take the same amount again. And then, I'm gonna swing upside down if I don't drop everything all over myself. And just do it like that. You wanna get this into the roots, and the ends, anywhere. If you notice that when you curl your hair, maybe the front gets less curly quicker or something, just wherever it is. It's almost like 
I mean, I don't know if you guys can see how my hair looks now. It gives it some volume. Kind of just comb it through the roots. Now, what you notice that I'm not doing, I'm not putting my fingers all the way through the curls. I'm just kind of like scrunching them. Um, you can always go back over this stuff when it dries and recurl certain pieces if you feel like you pulled some pieces out or something. But yeah, so that's that. Sometimes I'll actually um, throw my hair up in a loose bun after I put this stuff in just to keep getting some extra volume in it and I'll put my makeup on then or something. Um, but for the sake to not make this video like an hour long, which it probably already is, um, I'm not going to do that. Now after this, you can wait till it dries or not, it doesn't matter. I use my hairspray. My hairspray is one of the most expensive hair products I own. It's probably the second most expensive one I have. It's the Healthy Sexy Hair. It's this giant, giant thing. I mean, do you see how big that is? It's pretty big. Um, this is about 17 bucks, like Walmart or Target. I don't know if other drugstores sell. I think they do. Um, this is the soy, soy, <laughs> soy want a full hair, want full hair, um, with soy and cocoa. It's firm hold hairspray, but it doesn't feel like crunchy or gross on your hair. It feels soft and it smells like cocoa butter. You will learn if you keep on watching my videos, I am obsessed with the smell of cocoa butter and with cocoa butter itself. So this is my hairspray. Um, my hairdresser uses so many once and I've never turned back. Um, I never usually spend this much on any hair products or any kind of face makeup or anything kind of products, but I think this is worth it. And you can use any hairspray, obviously, for this look that you like. Just not, I would suggest not to use a very like firm, crunchy one that makes your hair crunchy because then it won't look natural. Now with this, I don't know why I shake it, I don't really think you have to. I usually lift up my roots like that and just spray a little in there because I want some extra volume. Like, do you see what that just did? That just, I could lift that up massively. Just to lift up my roots a little bit because my hair tends to fall flat on top and then just don't use massive amounts. I'm not going to spray this all over where you have to, like, you can't breathe or anything, but just to kind of smudge it in like that. Okay. So now your hair is going to smell amazing. And well, that's the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about this look or these products or anything else, please let me know, please request, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!